Welcome to Keeping Track of Business Central Setup Data in GitHub. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, today's video is, is you guys helping me, I think. Maybe. Um, I hope so, by the way. So, I, a couple of weeks back, I was in a discussion with uh, some of our consultants, uh, and, you know, a go live project at a customer and there were data in different sandboxes and different versions of the data and uh, it was you know then there was config packages f floating around and, and so on um, and and suddenly it struck me why don't we do this in github uh, you know with with on the code side of things we you know we streamlined there's a branch for for the different sandboxes and you know you you pull request or you merge between the branches to go move uh, code into production and you know it's very very streamlined on the code side but on the on the on the setup side on the data side it was it was it's a, there's not really the same kind of tools available uh, so that kind of got me thinking but but hang on what if we could just use github for you know for a customer's data uh not you know not keeping track of all the data but you know the setup data those relevant pieces and um so that's kind of out a, a project that i have um i've been working on for a bit um and it, yeah I start off with this being kind of a standalone thing, and then so you know, it's probably better that I put it into my toolbox. Um, and uh, if you don't know my toolbox, uh, allow me uh, to do a uh, just tell me what my toolbox is. The toolbox is an app in App Source. Uh, the idea with the toolbox is that you can you know you can you can write some uh, you can you. Quickly, you can write some code saying if C find said, whoa, then repeat message, wow, message C. Uh, you write some quick code, right? Um, there you go, you click run, boom. The code is executed. So if you want to do something quickly on a, on, on a system, you can, you don't have to you know fire obvious codes connect and download the symbols and you know deploy it to the sandbox and then deploy the same app to production um you know you, you do the script you're done uh, and the toolbox was if you follow along and then this kind of why i thought let me do this again the, lots of the stuff in toolbox kind of started as as videos on the channel where i you know I investigated whether something could work or not, including you know writing an AL compiler in AL. Um, the toolbox can also do batch process, you know, search and replace, uh, and very clever search and replace. Um, you can inspect run tables that you normally cannot run in edit mode and so on. You can copy data between environments, uh, so that's kind of related but not really related. So the idea was kind of born that okay. Let, let's let's treat our setup data as code um so let me, let me show you what i have so far and and please be brutally honest in the comments uh what you think about this is this useful what haven't i thought about what would be missing uh um that would be lovely thank you uh, anyway I, here I am I'm on GitHub. I run GitHub in dark mode for because dark mode. Um, so I'm creating a new uh, repository. If I can look in my mouse, there it is. Um, I call it demo data for some reason. I uh, private. Uh, currently, my system hates complete empty repos. Uh, so I add an, a readme in it. So we, Create a repo, um, and uh, we got a branch. So what I can do now this called this repo called demo data. 
in the uh, in the toolbox i have added a setup saying that this is my github account and i have uh, added a uh, what is known as a personal token to it so i can now go into data in github whatever that's the name that's still up for discussion uh, and i call the repo demo data so i can do get branches boom it figure out there's a main branch that's the current one so let's look at the current branch um there are no tables in the branch so so we we think about this as tables so i could say okay let's do uh, company information um and um let's commit that github updated uh so we got the last commit which is later than the last time that the table was updated so we're happy I'm, I'm still this one doesn't really work in all cases yet i'm still trying to figure out how this should behave um but let's jump back to the repo for for a moment here so now we can see that hey, hang on we had the initial commit and then we had a commit from business central and if we look at that we got a new file here so we got a table 79 company information if we look at this we can see that i have serialized uh, all the records in company information there's only one um in json and and i have tried to do it in json that is machine readable enough that it will work uh, across localizations and stuff like that but on the at the same time i always also try to make it as human readable as possible so we can see that this is field 33 and we we tell the field name what the field type is and what the value is uh, in reality the system only cares about the the key f33 translated into table uh, field 33 and the value and if we go to the top we can see that it tells that this is table number 79. Um, so I could now actually, you know, grab these JSON file and, and make modifications in them outside Business Central, um, if I wanted to. So now we have this one sitting here uh, in, the, in the main branch. Um, but what if we knew, now what if we added a branch so if we go back to this one uh, and um, create a new branch we could call that UAT user acceptance test so now we have another branch and so if I go back here and I close this one and I say get branches I get that one you see this is th this is still our main branch so the system thinks that the data we have in business central matches the main branch so if i go down here and say select this one and then i say switch to branch switch to branch you would see and replace concept in tables probably uh, with data from the branch sure so at this point now we're on the UAT branch the content should still be the same maybe I should have showed you guys the, I think I wrote production or something like that in address 2 I did um, so now we can say that this is UAT branch just to see that we have a different set of code so I have changed data so if I say view current branch we can see that now our status is explanation point <laughs> uh, meaning that well the commit on that branch was from 204 uh, and we updated the table on 207 okay so i can i can commit now this one is happy and if i go to to github 
Um, we can see that US, UAT is has just been updated. Uh, so if I go back here and wow, and information, company information. Look at that. We can see that we're clearly in UAT branch now. So if I go, thanks. Okay, let me switch back to main branch. So I do switch to branch. We are now, and then we go into comp. comp wow, company information. There you go. Now our data is switched back to. Uh, to the data in, in the main branch. Does this make any sense? I, I, th I think that that is the first case. What 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 I imagine was that you were working with um, with with a client in whatever sandbox and you build up uh, set up data uh, and um, and you put in the tables uh, where you have entered stuff or maybe i need to uh, need to ask ask and maybe i want to ask you maybe i should add a uh, like a table scanner so so you can like almost like a a, a uh, you know a recorder without being a maybe it is actually you know I, we're making stuff up as we go along here. No, but should we say, okay, s start recorder, and then it will record all the tables that you have done something with, and you can so okay, add this table to uh, to the current branch, add this table to the current branch, uh, or do you prefer okay, say, well, we clearly need payment terms here. Uh, we want currencies. We want um uh, what do we want we want uh, shipment methods and and what about location location is always a good one because i kind of remember that as 14 right um and then you did okay let's commit these tables to i think we're still in the uat branch right maybe that should be also shown what branch we're in um so when you get to so you're working in the sandbox but you keep the stuff you have under under source control but not really source control under and data control under under source code management but but data becomes source code here somehow and then you go to uh, to the production and you type in you want the demo data and then you select the branch and then you say uh either pull or switch to branch uh and you get all that data into your current company um i think it makes a lot of sense to be honest i think it makes a lot of sense you can hear my dog there's probably uh somebody out in the snow sledding down our road right now um so the 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 task for you guys is uh tell me if i'm wrong first of all tell me if this is stupid i don't think it is uh i i kind of like it i i know there's some some more granularity pieces i need to to add i need to add something so you can maybe you only want to commit certain tables uh or, or stuff like that um But I think I, I, I think this makes us makes a lot of sense. Uh, um, and my intention is to get this into the uh, into the toolbox app um, very fast. Um, but you guys have been so great back in time when I was working on the compiler part and and some of the other things for for the toolbox to, to give me your input. So I kind of turn to you guys again uh and 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 let me let, let me know what you think um i i think it's brilliant but but i may be wrong 
Uh, so uh, if you came to see AL hacking, uh, sorry to disappoint you, but go check out this video filled with AL hacking. I I promise you, uh, like 99% sure. Uh, I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.